Good evening. My name is Colby Van Camp, and welcome to my first undergraduate recital towards the completion of my Bachelor's of Music Composition degree here at Kansas State University. Tonight's recital is entitled An Evening of Art Song because all of the music program is comprised entirely of art song that has either been composed or arranged by me. Tonight, you will hear an eclectic range of soundscapes, compositional techniques, and different tonalities. I'd like to extend my gratitude to my friend, longtime collaborator and accompanist extraordinaire, Alicia Willard, and to my good friend, fellow composer and virtuoso tenor, Lorenzo Butler. Without you, this recital tonight wouldn't have been possible. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge the faculty that have helped me to be where I am today as a musician, composer, and singer here at Kansas State University and beyond. A special thanks to Dr. Craig Weston for the hundreds of hours spent listening to my music, teaching me what it means to be a composer, and inspiring me to become a better musician. I'd also like to extend a special thanks to Dr. Brian Pinkle for the hundreds of hours spent helping me refine my vocal technique, creating lasting musical experiences, and for always believing in me and my music. In just a moment, there will be a QR code that will pop up on the screen for approximately 15 seconds. You can use your smartphone's camera to access the concert program directly from this code. Also, during the YouTube live premiere, a comment section will be available where I will be able to interact with you, the audience, real time during the performance. Please feel free to utilize this feature. I'd love to connect with you during the recital. Thank you for coming tonight. The recital will begin momentarily. Songs of the Prairie was composed in 2018 as a means of expressing my love for the great state of Kansas and for finding closure for the death of my late grandfather, Vic Van Camp, in 2015. The song cycle was written out of order, starting with the final movement, The Lullaby of the Plains, which is dedicated to my late grandfather. From there, the idea grew into a larger work meant to take the listener through a day in the life of a Kansas farmer during the homesteading era of the Midwest. The first movement, Morning, describes the farmer observing the gentle sunrise over the rolling cornfields of Kansas. The second movement, Thunderstorm, creates a scene of thrilling terror as the farmer and his children brace themselves for the impact of the elements in a weather cycle that can shift at the drop of a hat. And the final movement, The Lullaby of the Plains, shows the farmer singing his children to sleep in a lullaby that serves not only as a song for sleep, but also a metaphor for life and death. The lyrics for this work can be found in your program. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the world premiere of the Songs of the Prairie.
across the golden fields. Echoing my sprinting heels to find a cover from the pours quicker now. I softly pray my crops won't drown. Lightning crackles in the clouds. My children hurry in the clouds to find a shelter. It's frightening blast, the corn bends over to the grass. The mighty winds howl around, my children's terror does unbound. We hope our shelter holds, we hope our shelter Across the golden fields, the clouds slowly disappear. The storm is Oh, no.
The next piece, Waterbox Musings, written in 2019, was composed in a similar way as the Songs of the Prairie. That is to say, it was composed backwards. The final movement, Tundra, was composed for Dr. Weston's Theory 4 class in the spring semester of 2019 with the express guidelines to not do something that is considered tonal or relating to the common tonalities we hear in Western classical music that one might associate with the likes of Mozart and Beethoven. Instead, Tundra utilizes a 20th century technique of shifting chords with as little movement as possible called parsimonious voice leading and also utilizes the modal scale G Lydian. Similarly, the first movement, Denali, is composed entirely of only six pitches, a collection composers refer to as a hexachord. From there, the entire piece is designed to sound rather esoteric and the lyrics invite the listener to explore a number of hidden meanings in double entendres. However, the true meaning of the lyrics is actually of a more humorous nature as I describe the act of taking a shower, Denali being my Old Spice body wash, Tundra being my Old Spice shampoo, and the water box being the small cramped shower I used in the West Hall dorm my sophomore year at Kansas State. 
The entire work, known as Waterbox Musings, was written specifically for my friend, Lorenzo Butler, and takes advantage of his unbelievable tenor range, agility and athleticism, and his superb reinforced falsetto. The whole work was given its world premiere at his Masters of Music and Vocal Performance recital last semester. Thank you, Lorenzo. The lyrics for this piece can also be found in your program. So without further ado, please enjoy Waterbox Musings. Thank you. 
The final piece on my recital tonight is an arrangement of the traditional Welsh folk song, Arlan Amor. I was introduced to this piece by the album Songs and Dreams by the world famous Welsh bass baritone, Sir Bryn Terfel. From there, I took the piece and arranged it to my own style and interpretation, utilizing a few chords of a more jazz related nature. The program will include the lyrics and the translation for this piece. Please enjoy my final piece for tonight, Arlan Amor.
Thank you all for attending my recital tonight. You, the patrons of the arts, are what makes the world go round for musicians and composers like myself, my colleagues, and my professors. I'd like to extend my thanks one final time to my accompanist, Alicia Willard, to Lorenzo Butler, Dr. Craig Weston, Dr. Brian Pinkle, and to the School of Music, Theater, and Dance here at Kansas State University. I will be giving a final composition recital next semester, which will include more art song, instrumental, and choral music. Please stay tuned with me via social media as to when that recital will take place. Thank you all once again for coming tonight, and I look forward to seeing you all in person very soon. <laughs>